Hi guys, welcome to our tutorial for Python, our first tutorial for Python. This is about my third go at this and I've messed it up a few times, so let's see what we can do. Okay, so there is a certain syntax, a certain way of doing things in Python, and the first and most important one that you've got to learn is print hello world. And what this does is it prints on the console hello world. Well, what is the console? Well, let's have a look at the console for a second. This is our console. So here is our console screen, and here is um, where we program. So if I was to write print, click in here, print hello world, um, when I get out of there and I run it over here, over here, you should see very shortly, so it runs, hello world, come up, okay? So this is your console, this is your programming screen, okay? So let's have a look at that again. So, so let's have a look. The next thing we're going to learn is variables, okay? So variables are just a place to hold information. They are a way to change things in the real world. So for example, if we're talking about your age, for example, if we were to talk about your age, your age changes every year, okay? Um, my age may or may not change every, no, it does change every year. But that, your name doesn't change every year, just your age. And so your name is the constant thing and the variable is your age. And in the same way a variable can change, the name of the variable does not change, right? Variables come in different types, okay? So for example, we've got Boolean, we've got um, integers, we've got decimals, we've got whole numbers. So what we've got here for variables, variables can be whole numbers, that's integers, that's, you know, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, decimals, 1.5, 1.6, they are called floats. We've got text, which is words, and they are called string. And then we've got dates, which is the date type of variable. And then we've got other choices like on, off, yes, no, true and false, one and zero, um, and they are called Booleans. You need to know these things. You need to understand what the difference is. So I want you to memorize these, pause the video right now, and make sure that you understand each of those things. So variables in Python. In Python, declaring a variable is very simple. It can be as simple as the following code, person equals Adrian Rhodes or age equals 42. What I want you to notice is that with the person, the inverted commas and Adrian Rhodes, that shows that it is string. It tells it it is string. And if you go for age and just go 42, it works out that that is a number that is an integer. It works out that it hasn't got a point zero zero. It's so therefore it's an integer. Okay, notice that the person, the string has inverted commas around it, right? Whereas the number variable does not. Okay, so we're going to go to this particular website. It's called REPL dot IT languages Python and we're going to have a look at the IDE. Now this is what I just showed you before, the print hello world and hello world. I would like you to have a go at that particular piece of code. So you write the following line in the code, you run the code and it should come up here. When you have completed that, um, you may go on past the video. Please pause the video right at the moment and complete that task.
So I want you to notice here that the print hello world and age equals 42 and print age actually is the next part of our video. So you've done the print hello world, add age equals 42 and then print that age. And you'll notice how when you run it, it goes to hello world and then the age comes out as 42. There is no brackets around or no, sorry, no inverted commas around the word age because it is a variable. There is around the words hello world. If I was to print inverted commas age, it would come up with age over here and not 42. So to get it to actually pull the value of that variable, you need to make sure that there are no inverted commas. Let's see this in the actual video. Pause the video every time you don't understand something and go back over it. Let's have a look. So here we go. Age is equal to 42. No inverted commas. And then we print, open brackets, age. And then if I run it, comes up over here. There we go. Hello world 42. Now, sometimes we want the user to input a variable value. For example, they might put in their name, their age, etc. The way we do that is we write person equals, so that's the variable name person. So I could have called it uh, your name or something like that. But person equals input, what is your name? And notice the inverted commas there. And this places the value of whatever the user inputs into the variable called person. So let's show you how this works. So if I write person, now we've got the variable going, equals input, open brackets, what is your name? And then I write um, print person. We can now see, if I run it, that it'll ask me that question as an input. So here it is. What's my name? My name's Roland. Press enter. And then it gives me back that, that value there. Now, I might want to say, your name is Roland. So the way I do that in this point is I write, um, your name is, space, and then I put a comma to delineate between your name is and person, okay? And so now I run it. What is your name? Roland. And then it says your name is Roland. So Python task 1.1 is to create a program that collects a person's age, their gender, what team they like, do they like ice cream, and what is their favorite drink. You've got to create a flow chart on what is happening. You've got to write the program and you've got to evaluate the program and fix any problems. So let's have a look at what a flow chart could look like. So we've got input person's name, input person's age, input male or female, input person's team, input yes, no for ice cream, and input favourite drink. And then we've got to output that data with sentences. Please follow those instructions, pause the video, and see if you can do it. If you are struggling, if you have issues, you can unpause the video and have a look at the solution. If you can make it work without looking at the solution, you've done very well. So I'm going to create the solution right now. Now, the first thing I need to do is I need to input 
sorry, no, I need to give it a, a person. So this is the person's name equals input open brackets. What is your name? So there's input. What is your name? Then I go uh, age equals input. What is your age? And then I need to get whether they're male or female. So I go um, gender equals input. Are you male or female? Then we've got uh, the person's team. So we go team equals input. What is your favourite team? And this could be any kind of team. It could be a crochet team, it could be an AFL team, it could be a netball team, it could be anything. Uh, then we need to, do they like ice cream? So we're going to call that ice cream equals input. Do you like ice cream? And the final one is what is your favourite drink? So drink equals input. What is your favourite drink? So what that's going to do is it's going to run these questions down here. Now I can see that there's no issues with any of this because I can't see any squiggly lines under it. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to print a blank line. So the way I do that is I literally do that. I could actually, I think I could actually do it like that. Uh, let's see, it looks like it's going to do that. And now I'm going to um, put in the person's name. So print, open bracket, person. Uh, then I want to print, and I want their age, and this time I want age, inverted commas, and age, okay? And that's going to put their age, it's going to put that there, and then it's going to put their, their actual age, but that's it. Print. Uh, the next one is uh, the gender. Um, in this case, we're just going to put gender. Um, and then we're going to print. And we're going to say your favourite team is space, put a comma, and then the team. And the next one is print. And we're looking at your, their favourite, do they like ice cream? So. Uh, the question, the answer could be, do you like ice cream? And then comma, ice cream. Okay, so the last one is what is your favourite drink? So we go print your favourite drink is and then we go print. Let's prove that this works. Let's run it. What is your name? Colin. What is your age? 93. Male. What is your favourite team? Geelong. What do you like ice cream? Yes. What is your favourite drink? Aperol. 
And then it says, Roland, age 93, male. Your favourite drink is, your favourite team is Geelong. Do you like ice cream? Yes. Your favourite drink is Aperol. And I could adjust these things now to fix them up a little bit. For example, I do notice that there is a big space there with teams. So I can just get rid of one of those spaces. There's a big space there for ice cream. Um, gender, I could actually write gender. And that would mean that it would come out a little bit better. And then, uh, so that's going to be there. All right, let's run that. What is your name? Roland. Age, 93. Male or female? Male. What is your favourite team? Geelong. Yes. What is your favourite drink? Aperol. And there it is. So we've got age, gender. See, it just makes it look a lot nicer. So you've got to make it look nice. So there is the solution to that. Thank you.